Hey guys, this is the NLE Ninja with Rampant Design Tools. In this edition of Running Rampant, I'll show you how to use Studio Mats. Studio Mats are a collection of 407 QuickTime animated mats that you can use to stylize a clip or collection of clips. Available in 2K, 4K, and 5K via immediate download or USB 3.0 drive, these mats can reduce the effort you put into masking video in seconds. Since these are drag and drop effects, they work in all popular editing and compositing softwares such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Motion, Avid Media Composer, and more. Today, I'll show you two examples of how you can utilize these mats in a slick way. For these examples, I'll be using Adobe's After Effects. In my first example, I'll break down how to use style mats for an enhanced Ken Burns animation, which can be used for documentaries, news packages, or photo essays. For my second example, I'll show you how to create a 3D style mat effect. Without further ado, let's run rampant. Many times when you're working on documentaries or news packages, you don't have a lot of footage, but you may have photos. Most editors know how to animate photos using the position and scale parameters to achieve the infamous Ken Burns effect. But what if you want to take it a step further? Let me break down how I created this effect. First, I animate the position and scale of the picture. I pre-composed it so when I use the style mat, the Ken Burns animation remains within the mat. Next, I place one of the 4K style mats over my pre-comp and change the scale to about 45 so it wouldn't take up as much screen real estate. I also change the length of the style mat so it would last longer. Since this is a 4K clip, it will maintain quality across 720p and 2K compositions. Any style mat you use can achieve this effect as well. After that, I use the track mat function to alpha mat the photo into the style mat. From there, I pre-compose the mat and picture animation together, which became this composition. Within the pre-comp, I created four different color solids and masked them according to the shape of the style mat. Once again, I used the track mat function and changed the blend mode on all the solids to color mode to get this look. You could experiment with different blend modes to see what you could come up with. Back in the main composition, I put another instance of the photo underneath the pre-composition. I tinted it slightly and I blurred it as well. I added a drop shadow to my pre-composition to make it pop more and added a reflective surface using a solid with masks along with the linear white filter to get the final touches. Once I had all that taken care of, this is what it looked like. This technique is a method meant to breathe more life into the standard Ken Burns animations you see a lot of. You don't necessarily have to use different colored panels or a reflective surface to achieve this effect, as that was just a way to make it stand out more. This effect can be achieved in other programs as well, so don't feel the need to restrict yourself to just After Effects. For my next example, I'm going to show you how to create this. I have a clip of two people practicing Taekwondo that I want to place inside of a style mat. In my composition, I have style mat 044 above my clip. Like I said before, you could use any of the 407 style mats available to achieve this effect. First, I want to change the overall duration of the mat so it will last longer. Let's select it. Let's right click. Let's go to Time and enable Time Remapping. I'll move to about the 3 second mark and set a keyframe. Let's delete the last keyframe so we can extend the mat to be the length of our video clip. 
I want to change the scale of my style mat, so I'm going to right click, go to transform, and go to fit to comp. If I press the S key to get the scale parameter, you can see that it's scaled down from 100% to 50%. Next, I'll change the track mat of my clip from none to alpha mat. I now have my Taekwondo clip inside of a style mat, but what if I want to add a reflection? Well, that's simple. First, let's pre-comp our style mat and clip into one composition. I'm going to select them both and press the keyboard shortcut Shift Command C. I'm going to name this Clip and Style Mat. And hit OK. Let's duplicate this composition and name the duplicate Reflection. So I'm going to go up to Edit. I'm going to go to Duplicate. I'm going to press Return and name this one Reflection. Let's select both compositions and enable the 3D switch on both. With the Reflection Comp selected, I'll grab the Pan Behind tool so I can change the anchor point of the reflection. You want to position it so it touches the bottom of your composition. After that, parent the reflection to the pre-comp. Next, pressing the R key to bring up the rotation parameters, change the X rotation on the reflection to 90 degrees. Although I can't see it right now, if I go to my active camera and select custom view one or any of the other custom views, you'll see that it gives it a laptop look. If you don't like this look, you can change the X rotation from 90 to 180. But for this example, I'll maintain the X rotation at 90 degrees. I'm gonna go back to my active camera and create a quick background by using the gradient ramp filter. So I'm gonna create a new solid by pressing Command Y or Control Y or I could go up to the drop down menu and select new solid. Let's type in BG and let's place this beneath our reflection. Let's solo this by clicking on the solo switch and add the gradient ramp filter. Now with this background, you can choose whichever method you want to create your background, so feel free to use whichever method. You can choose a linear ramp or radial ramp, the sky's the limit. So I'm going to choose a radial ramp here. I'm going to swap my colors. I'm going to bring the white start ramp color to the center. Now I'm going to expand the black and color ramp to this. I'm not too big of a fan of white, so let's change our color from white to a color like blue. I'm going to go from my active camera to my custom view once again. I'm going to turn off the solo switch on my background, and I'm also going to select my reflection, go to my blend mode, and select the blend mode of soft light. This will give the reflection a faded look. Let's go back to the active camera and let's push these comps in 3D space so we can see everything at once. So I'm going to select my style mat pre-comp, which is layer number one, press the P key and push it in 3D space. Let's move it over to the left just a bit. Let's bring up the rotation parameter by pressing the R key and let's rotate this negative 45 degrees on the Y. So let's type in negative 45. Let's add in some text so that it could live in 3D space. 
let's change the color from black to white. And I'm going to type in Taekwondo in all caps. Now the font I'm using is called Alternate Gothic 2 BT, which you can find online for free or download from some other places, but the font choice for this example is completely up to you. Let's position it to the right side of our comps and enable the 3D switch. I'm going to change the anchor point from where it's at now to the left side. Let's press the R key to bring up the rotation value. And let's rotate it about 12 degrees on the Y. Also, adjust the Z position to taste. Once you have that taken care of, let's parent our text to our pre-comp, which is layer number two. If you want to, feel free to make any necessary changes you feel necessary until you achieve the look that you want. Once you have that all situated, let's add a camera for some finishing touches. So I'm gonna to go to Layer, New, Camera, I'm going to choose a 24 millimeter preset, but you can use any of the other camera presets you desire. Let's right click on the camera and select Camera, Create Orbit Null. On the camera null, we want to go to the position parameter and set a keyframe at the beginning of our composition. So let's press the P key. Let's press the Home key to go to the beginning of our composition and set a keyframe there. Let's go about one second forward and add another position keyframe. I want to animate the camera moving from far away to close to the screen, like so. Once you have that, you can add a text animation like a 3D position type on effect. After you do that, Feel free to make any other adjustments or add any additional touches to get the style map 3D effect that you want. So I'm going to make a few changes myself, so I'll be back with you in just a second. Now once you're done finessing your style map 3D, you should have something that looks like this. As you can see from these examples, Studio Mats offers endless possibilities and versatility. You can learn more about this product and other products by visiting the Rampant Design Tools website here. You can also keep up with Rampant Design Tools by following them on Twitter at Rampant Design. Feel free to like their Facebook page as well by going to facebook.com slash Tools.
I'm the NLE Ninja with NLE Ninja Effects asking you to stay creative and run rampant. Thanks for watching.